Okay, so um, where we left off, we had our character in, but um, he wasn't moving properly, just like this. So all we need to do to fix that, actually, it's only one extra thing. Um, if we go back to the blueprint where we made our state machine, into the state machine, um, we added this blend space here. But what we just forgot to do is just go into that again. Um, I know it gets quite confusing going into grass, but you can keep track of where you are up here. Um, it just needs to know what the speed variable is. Okay, so we made that speed variable earlier on, uh, which is referenced to in the event graph, the stuff that we copied over. So we just want to get that speed and just plug it into there. Compile it. Okay, we can go back up here, back again. Uh, close this down. Go to play now. See our character moves between um, idle and running. Um, but you know, which you might be happy with, but we've got a walk animation as well, so we want it to walk and run. Okay, uh, obviously, jump won't work yet, it just kind of bugs out like that. Um, bit of collision issues there. That's not to worry about at the moment. Um, okay, so what we need to do is we want to add in this walk animation next, okay? Right, okay, so to do that, um, we need to go back to our character blueprint um, here. And what we actually need to do is go into character movement. Um, now remember in the blend space, we made the maximum speed uh, 220. So what we want to do is come down to here into walking and the max walk speed uh, we want to make that 110. We want to turn that down quite a lot. Okay because generally when we're just moving around normally we want them to just be walking. Okay which is 110 and 220 will be running but normal walk speed will be 110. Okay, um, crouched one shouldn't matter. Let's change that to 110 anyway as well. And compile. We need to go over to the event graph now. Um, and we're going to tell it to run. So it's going to walk normally. So when we want to run, we want it to push like a button, hold a button down to make it run. Um, we're going to do that with the left shift key. So if you search for left shift, for the event, so while we're pushing left shift, um, we want to set max walk speed. That would help if we could find it. Maybe perhaps it needs to come from character movement. So bring in character movement first. That's set max walk speed. Yeah, there we go. Um, and we need two of those. Set max walk speed. Because when we're we pressed the shift key, we want that walk speed to go all the way up to two hundred and twenty. Okay. When we have released that again. We want it to go back down to its 110. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So it's controlled by the character movement here. When we push left, push left shift, um, it will increase the, the walk speed and then go back to normal again. And when it goes up, because of our blend space, it will start using the run animation. But when it's at 110, it will use the walk animation. So compile that, um, push play. And you can see when I'm moving around now, he's just just the walk animation is going on. If I hold down left shift, he starts running. Okay. So he doesn't move that fast, which because of the type of character he is. But um, obviously that depends on the character you're using and what you want to do with it. So you could go in and change all those speeds if you want to. Um, I'm happy with that. Okay, so just go um, file, save all. 
So that's fine. So we've got a character that moves around. Um, he can walk, run, all that kind of stuff. So next up, what we want to do is going to make him jump, and we're going to use those uh, three different jump animations. Okay, so we'll do that next. <laughs> 